Hi, my name is Sudesh Sivarasu. I'm an academic at the University of Cape Town Faculty of Health Sciences, Division of Biomedical Engineering and the Department of Human Biology. Once COVID-19 set its foot in South Africa, nobody was prepared, especially uh, we being in uh, biomedical engineering, we weren't really ready for COVID-19. The team started with evaluating the needs around the clinical settings and trying to find out what is the most prominent medical problem that needs to be uh, addressed immediately. Our team identified needs for personal protection equipments and low-cost ventilators and a number of other technologies we started working on unmet clinical needs. And by doing that, we interviewed several clinicians, several uh, healthcare uh, workers to identify what these needs were. And the foremost need was that the person coming in contact with the patients had lit little or very limited protection. We focused our efforts on getting this solved. We started with fundamental protection equipment like the phase visors, we call it the UCT visors. And uh, we are now rolling out large protection line of uh, these visors and the plan is to distribute these visors to the clinics and uh, point of sales, etc. A long-standing project, Open Air, the uh, low-cost uh, ventilator solution, we have been working on this over the last three years and we refurbished this project to meet the requirements of the National Ventilator Project. We did several rounds with the National Ventilator Project. We are now in the proof of concept stage where we are able to test this on clinical settings. And we have worked in collaboration with CSIR and CSIR has received the bid for the National Ventilator Project and we are the clinical partners with CSIR and we would be doing the clinical evaluation of the ventilators that are developed by CSIR. And this has been an opportunity for collaboration for a number of departments within UCT and a number of institutions across South Africa and a number of institutions across Africa and also a number of institutions across the globe. What we also find is people are very willing to collaborate, whether it is industry or whether it is private partnership, etc. There is no typical academic complications in these collaborations. And this is quite heartwarming to see that people from various industries come together to solve the common problem around COVID-19. This also stands as an opportunity for us to innovate and innovate in a very realistic manner that will be effective on the ground. Our products have been all the way from protection equipments to testing booths to N95 respirators to ventilators and we are also looking into some of the other complicated technologies like hyperbaric oxygen therapy etc and we are trying to equip ourselves and the country for the COVID-19 pandemic crisis and also hoping that we would be able to make solutions for South Africa and from South Africa to rest of Africa. For this, we have established very good working relationship with some of the African countries and this is a great platform for us to work together on a common problem on COVID-19. In our response to the COVID-19 crisis, our solutions and innovations have been focused on creating appropriate local technologies that are not only cost effective, they're also sustainable and in a way made with all locally available resources. The COVID crisis is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to innovate, it's an opportunity to break silos and it's an opportunity to create impact. All our innovations are focused on protecting healthcare workers. By protecting healthcare workers and frontline workers, we'll do our part in flattening the curve.